We started out with uh, going to a secular college. Uh, I wanted to be a teacher and uh, decided that uh, they elected me as uh, president of the Newman Club. I had no idea about becoming a priest, but being a president of the Newman Club, I uh, became aware of the difficulty for young collegians to be involved uh, in religion. So I thought, well, maybe I could uh, teach in a Catholic high school uh, and help kids get interested. And then I thought, maybe I should be a priest in a Catholic high school. Well, then I came to St. Vincent as a diocesan priest. And then uh, I decided that I would become a Benedictine. So it just kept progressively. One of, the <laughs> one of the funny things about becoming a Benedictine, I was going past the choir stalls one afternoon, five o'clock vespers, and uh, I hear this chanting and music and so forth. And uh, I thought, it sounded so serious to me. I thought, wow. Developed beyond that, and uh, I joined the monastery. And uh, in doing that process, uh, went out for a degree in psychology. Uh, I studied a Catholic youth under, be, under behavioral psychology. And then I went to Duquesne University for existential phenomenology, uh, which is more humanistic. I came from a large family, so I had five bro four brothers and a sister. So I was a little bit community-oriented, even though I didn't realize it. Very individualistic and had my own identity. I wanted to hold on to that. But when you, once you get into the community and start associating with a group, uh, you lose your rugged individualism and start becoming a part of everybody while maintaining your own identity, if that makes sense. And uh, that happened to me, and I became more of an individual with a community, or within the community. Once you get into the community, you can see all the other strengths and uh, variations of people's personalities and different interpretations. One thing about St. Vincent, uh, this community is open to many ideas, many types of personalities, and uh, you can find a niche in the broad uh, environment, and that's what happened to me. Uh.